Hey guys, so in this video, we will go through the process of installing uh, Jupyter Notebooks using the Anaconda installer. So we can begin by searching um, Anaconda Python in Google. And we can just go through um, any of the links there, anaconda.com. And under products, we will go for individual edition. Click download, which will take you to the bottom of the page. Then you select which operating system you have and select the graphical installer. For Mac users, click allow to continue to download the installer file and just open the installer file from your downloads folder. Click allow and allow again and continue. And again, continue, continue, and agree. And then finally, install. Input your password for your user. So the installation will continue. And when prompted, click OK so that the installer could access files in your downloads folder. Once the installation finishes, click continue and close. And you could delete the Anaconda installer by pressing move to bin. Now we can open the Anaconda navigator file from our applications. And from the list, look for Jupyter Notebook and click launch. This will open a new tab in your default web browser, and it will take us to the main screen of the Jupyter Notebook. So in this main screen, we would see the same files replicated or mirrored based on our root folder. So for Mac users, the root folder by default is the users folder. So each project that we will be working on will be called a notebook. So to create a new notebook, we select new and then we select Python 3. And this will open a new tab. And this new tab is where we will be coding. We can rename this notebook by clicking on untitled. And for this one, I would name it new notebook and press enter. If we go back to the main screen of Jupyter Notebook, you would see that the new notebook that we have created will be appearing here. And if we go to Finder, we would see also the same file will now be available there. If we want to store our files into a new folder, we just simply create a new folder. And I could rename the folder using Finder. I would rename it Python for now. And I could move my new notebook into the Python folder. And as you can see here, the Jupyter notebook will also be updated so that our new notebook is now in the Python folder. So finally, to run our first code, we go to our new notebook tab and we type print, open parentheses, uh, single quote, hello world, and press shift enter in your keyboard to run the code. So that is the simplest way to install Jupyter Notebooks. And using Jupyter Notebooks, we can run our Python code. And also uh, we could import our pandas library and all the other libraries that um, Python has. And what I love about Jupyter Notebooks is that you can run your code in segments. So each of these boxes here that you see, the one with the green highlight is a cell. And you can run each of these cells separately without having to run the rest of the code, which is very useful if you are working on a very huge project. So that is it for this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and leave any comments for any questions and also watch out for my following videos where I would be discussing how to code in Python using the pandas library. I will see you then.